Good morning. Um, it's raining. It's Sunday afternoon. The news in the United States is awful. And I'm going to talk about Irish writers because that's where I started. And that's where I'm going to end today. Keep these things in your mind. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Oscar Wilde. Bram Stoker, who wrote all the Jack Dracula books. Mistakes are the portals of discovery. James Joyce. Education is not the filling of a pail, but rather the lighting of a fire. W.B. Yeats. Someday you will be old enough to start reading fairy tales again. C.S. Lewis, who also did all the Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe books. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. George Bernard Shaw, who also did a lot of plays, including Pygmalion. Samuel Beckett, if you do not love me, I shall not be loved. If I do not love you, I shall not love. We can learn a lot from some Irish writers right now. <laughs> These are 18th and 19th century writers, all of them Irish, all of them amazing. Um, and I just hit on some highlights and I just hit on some of the quotes that struck me. I think the... The geography and the landscape of Ireland could lead to writing in a lot of people. A lot of times it's raining. A lot of times it's bleak. And you stay inside a lot. Um, and you have to find something to do. Not everybody has a camera. Not everybody has scrapbooking supplies up the wazoo. And they don't have... In cert certainly in the 17th and 18th, or yeah, 18th and 1900s, they didn't have, you know, a corner rounder or Amy Tangerine. So they did what they knew how to do. They wrote. I mean, if you were uh, Bram Stoker and you saw all these deserted castles along the road all the time, I think I could create a Dracula. Not that I'm equating myself to Bram Stoker, but... You could come up with some kind of Dracula figure, right? Right. Oh my. You may be hearing thunder on my video. But anyhow, I think I'll get off this now. Um, so thanks for watching as always. I am not going to talk about what happened in the United States. It's not my place to talk about it, for one thing. That's how I feel. But as a citizen of the United States... My heart is broken. Um, I was born in that hospital where all the trauma center happened uh, in Dayton. We moved when we were like two, three, and four to California where my mom grew up. Yeah, I had to do some correcting this morning. Um, my uncle I talked on the phone three times with this week. Um, he's right there. He's in a suburb of Dayton. Um, my cousins and his kids and grandkids are there. It, but it doesn't matter where it is. It can happen anywhere right now. It's happening everywhere. It's happening in too many places. That I can say. It's happening in too many places and it breaks my heart. Uh, so, read. Don't be isolated and not knowing the facts. But if I lived in Ireland right now, I think I'd be a writer. Sitting on the side of a cliff somewhere watching the fog roll in listening to puffins, um, having some chip, fish and chips, having some kind of cocktail and uh, with a watercolor set sitting out there. Do you like my shapes of Ireland? Can you tell they're Ireland? Eh, I tried. I didn't, they don't have to be exact for me, but I was trying to make them the shape of Ireland and a whole bunch of different greens and then the orange paint took over. So thanks for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. In an unsafe America. Um, that might not be the right word. Well, it definitely seems like it. I have a few more minutes here. And I did not go out on my paddleboard yet today. And it's noon. But the weather. The weather. Um, oh dear. I might have to do sit-ups so I continue my exercise program. Because I don't want to stop. I have felt that a shirt is not quite as tight that I usually wear. Even that I wore in Ireland, it's not quite as tight as it was in Ireland. Hallelujah. So, thanks for watching. Um, I think I got my lights fixed again. See you all tomorrow.